I see a lot of different cities in the United States. Oh, wow, I see Austria, Australia, Lagos, Nigeria, Barbados. I see California, California a lot. Several thousand, several thousand people tuned in. Give it about one more minute. I'll go ahead and get started. Look, guys, uh, I I definitely recommend uh, you know taking you know actually taking notes. Uh, this weekend, I went to a seminar myself. I got to learn from you know the great Bob Proctor. Uh, came one of his paradigm shifts out here in LA, and you know I took a lot of notes, and you know I'm I'm going over them, and some of them I. Some I'll actually go over on this call right now, but it definitely helps a lot. Just going, just being able to go back over what you over what you over what you heard and what you wrote down. It's almost as if you're hearing it over and over again. You're back in that same place. So definitely take notes. I definitely recommend it. Keep dropping exactly where you are. Oh yeah, this is global. It's 705. Let's go ahead and get started. I see a lot of people still uh, still dropping exactly where they are. I see Jamaica, California, so many different cities in, in the United States. I saw London a lot, Lagos, Nigeria. Um, I saw Australia, Barbados, Trinidad. Haiti. I see a lot. Of, I see a lot of different countries tuned in tonight. We have, you know, a few. Wow. Well over 3,000 people tuned in for the call tonight, like I was saying before. Definitely take notes uh, just so you can actually go over things that, you, that I may have said, things that you you know may actually be very relatable to. So you can just kind of condition your mind to just hear it over and over and over again so you can actually put it in put it into play. It'll be a lot easier to actually put it into action. But one of the first things, and I wrote some notes down myself for the call, one of the first things that I, I do want to go over um, and anything I say, uh, you know, it's, it's only helped me become successful or at least more successful or helped me in any way throughout this journey. Uh, you know, th this is the beauty and what we do. We're here to make everybody's time a whole lot. Well, cut in half. So anything that I've been able to do, you should be able to do it a whole lot faster uh, just because some of these things I'm noticing now. But <clears throat> early, like early around like Platinum 5000, this is one of the things that I actually started doing. And it was helping me out a lot. And that's just backtracking my success, right? Backtracking my success. And I probably said this before on the call and you may have heard it, but I'm going to try to go more into depth. Just, and, it's, and it's funny, I actually wrote a quote while I was out here, while I was out here in LA for the, for the paradigm shift, li listening to Bob Proctor, he actually said a quote and I'm going to quote him. He said, you cannot connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backward. You have to trust that they'll connect in the future, right? So, so many people you in this. I've, I'm guilty of doing this. I've, I've looked to actually being able to connect what I need to do, what I need to do here, and it at times it's just it's out of order, it's crowded, and it's unorthodox. But I found it easier just connecting the dots backwards because I've been to those different places, and I can understand that even though that's my past, that's somebody else's future. Right. So you have to understand that where you are, right, where you are today, how you got there, you know exactly how you got there. So you can connect the dots that were in the past that's leading you up to where you are, to, where you are now. And you may not be able to connect them moving forward, but you can connect them for somebody that's following you. Right. If you don't if you can't backtrack your success, you're not going to know how you got there. Right. You're not going to know how you got there. And so when somebody asks you, how do you get to, you know, 
how do you get to where you are? You'll be able to tell them and you'll be able to give them a blueprint, right? You'll be able to give them a, a pathway to get to where you are a whole lot faster. So please backtrack your success. If you want growth in your business, you have to create growth for other people. You can't just worry about yourself, right? You want to enhance other people's minds, right? You want to enhance other people's process. You want to enhance the way other people look, other people's images, other people's personal brands, right? Because the faster that people that are following you move, it forces you to move. Naturally, you get to where you want to go. Naturally, you hit your goals a whole lot faster because you're so focused on, on making sure that, you know, the people that are following you hit their goals a whole lot faster. So you have to backtrack your success, not for yourself, for the, for the people that are following you, right? And when you backtrack your success, you'll find certain things that you did that you probably didn't mean to do or that you probably didn't plan to do or, or that you did unconsciously. But now that you've already done it, right, and you've seen that it's actually helped you because it's in the past now, you can tell people that are following you, following you to, to do the exact same thing. So it could be, you know, a lot of people ask me at events and, you know, different calls that I do or anytime somebody sees me, they're like, like, what? If you can, if you can say one thing, one thing, Bryce, that's, you know, that's going to help me, uh, you know, get to where I want to go or get the chairman a whole lot faster is my answer has been the same, at least recently, more recently, it's been the same. And I'll just say, just recreate, recreate the same experience, recreate experiences for other people, right? Recreate experiences for other people, recreate experiences for the people that are coming to your group. And when I say recreate experiences, you have to really think, um, you have to really think about certain things that happened to you, whether you planned it or not, or whether it was unconscious, unconscious or not, you have to think about certain things that, that made you feel excited. You have to think about certain things that made you feel happy. You have to think about certain things that happened or certain experiences or things you saw or people that you've met, people that you've heard speak, right? You have to think about those experiences that, made you more motivated that made you more inspired and you just create those 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 times and those experiences and those occasions for all of the different people that are following you it may have been going into the jewelry store right because that's that's something that i did unconsciously unconsciously right i was listening to bob proctor this weekend and he was saying so many different things that you can do to to help your mind and help you get the things that you want and you know, some of the things that some of the places I've gotten, I've gotten there naturally. And I didn't realize that I was already doing things that could help somebody become successful. I didn't realize. It, right. So, you know, even I, I think back to even just going, just being a, as a platinum 5000, I would go into the jewelry store. I would look at the same exact watch. Right. I would look at the same exact watch over and over and over again. And, you know, it got to a point where I could actually even afford it. I can actually buy it. But I, I waited. Right. I waited because I wanted to reward myself for getting to a certain point, not for myself, but because I got to that certain point, other people reached their goals as well. Right. And, you know, I was I was, you know, actually putting the watch on over and over and over again. And I was making myself more and more motivated. I kept inspiring myself over and over and over again. And naturally, I, you know, I actually I went and got that watch. Right. Which is, you know, a funny story. But. When I backtrack my success, I backtrack things that, that helped me to get to where I am. Now I know, okay, cool. Let me, let me take, let me take, you know, people, somebody that's following me. Let me take a leader, right? Or, or an emerging leader or somebody that wants to, to get to where I'm at. Let me take them through a jewelry store, right? Let me let them, let me tell them to try on the watch, right? Or let them, let me let them try on my watch just so they can see how it feels, right? Because I know how it made me feel. Right. And then I think about certain events like I went to events. Naturally, I, you know, I, I was I was told that events would help me. And, you know, at times I, I didn't listen. And then when I actually went, when I started going to events, I got I got motivated. I was inspired. Right. I was putting myself around successful people and it was motivating. I was starting to, you know, actually I, I was meeting people like David and Manitia, Alex Moore, Matt Rosa, Jason Brown. I was meeting people like this and I was it motivated me. So when I finally got to that point and I understood how it motivated me, guess what I did? I, t I made sure that other people, more people started going to events because I'm recreating those experiences that made me feel excited, that made me feel more inspired. 
and it can even go it can even go as far back as being a platinum 150. Right? I remember being a platinum 150 and I experienced getting on the call for the first time. Right? I experienced getting on the call for the first time. It was I wasn't scared. It wasn't scary, but I was nervous because it was my first time articulating the information for a group of people or for somebody that was actually listening. Right? But in at at the time it was it was nerve-wracking because it was my first time. But as I got good at it, and I finally did my first good one. Like it was good all the way through. It was a really good call. I articulated everything, right? The person eventually signed up. May have not been that day, but they they did. They understood everything that I was saying, right? And I understood how that made me feel. I understood that I feel like, okay, cool. I can actually do this, right? I got all the way up to the point of, you know, doing a call for the first time all the way through. And I was like, okay, I can actually do this over and over and over again. I'm actually good at this. So guess what? I'm not going to do them forever. I'm not going to do those calls forever. When new people come into the organization, when new people come into this family, when new people see the same vision that I see, I'm going to make sure that I recreate that same experience for them. So no, I don't want to do the call forever. I want you to try it out like I tried it out. Because when I did my first good one, when it made sense, when when that person, when I single-handedly right? Articulated the information and somebody enrolled into my business, it made me feel more motivated. It made me feel more confident, right? It's not about me being confident for everybody. I want you to be confident for yourself. So I'm recreating the same experiences that helped me grow as a person so you can grow a whole lot faster. And and dots that connect in the future along the way, I'm going to realize them, right? I'm like, it may happen for me unconsciously, but, but but when it happens, I'll tell you, I'll make sure that you connect those dots so you can get to where I get, where I am a whole lot faster. And there's so many other things. It it, it goes, it's so many different things that I can, I can look back at, you know, in this journey. So many people I've met, you know, going to David and Manitia's house for the first time, flying down to Miami to meet Alex Moore, people that I've met along the way. Right. I, it's not about me. Just me. I know how that made me feel. So guess what? When I get a chance, I want to introduce you to this person, because when I met them for the first time, this is how I felt. Right. This is how I felt. So I want you to get that same opportunity. This relationship is not meant to just be for me. I want it to be for you, too. So you can feel the same way that I do a whole lot sooner than I did. So just recreate success for other people. Um, <clears throat> the second thing, the second thing, and this, you know, a lot of people in our specific group, this may be repetitive, but I want to share it for everybody that's on this call right now. Are we we right at about five thousand people? Right, five thousand people. Um, <clears throat> I got it in my notes. So I was, I, I was, I actually did a webinar. I did a webinar on this probably about a week ago. Um, and I was saying, you know, it's, it's right. It's, it's good to, to actually visualize you being a chairman already, right? It's good to actually feel yourself there already, right? It's, it's good to feel it. That's what you're supposed to do, right? You, you don't come, you don't come into an environment, right? Like this, and you, you don't already put yourself in the position that you want to be mentally. You know, you have to do it immediately. And I actually, I actually want to pull up a picture. And this is just something, it's something that I've noticed backtracking my success. And I've showed this on the webinar before, but this may be your first time seeing it. One second. I'm backtracking my success. You got to go, you got to go deep. So sometimes far back. So, look, this is, hold on, look, I can use a different one. I don't even want to use that one. Let's go. No, we'll use this one. We'll use this one. I don't want to archive anything. Well, look, you can see this picture. This is on my Instagram, right? This is on my Instagram. And I said, it's power in the iPhone, I promise. And this is just an example. It's power and alpha, and I promise. I put that. I posted on my page. That was my caption. Um, you know, hashtag iPhone bag, hashtag Scotty with the pips. I even put 
I was in Ohio at the time. I was actually working an internship, which is funny. And I, I put the location Forex Ohio. I didn't even know I didn't even know there was a Forex Ohio. I just put it just so you kind of I was alluding to what I was doing. I was alluding to, uh, you know, what I was talking about in this picture. The funny thing is, you know, so many people come into this business and they, you know, they don't they they kind of ease their way in the marketing what they do. They ease their way into, you know, actually taking something serious. And it's, it's funny. I posted this on my page, right? I had, you know, I was already, you know, before I even posted this picture, I had my own personal, my brand, a way of way, of way I liked it, doing things, a way I liked, I liked actually posting. I've never heard of Forex before a day in my life before this day or a week before this day. I wasn't even, I wasn't even in the, technically in the business where well, I hadn't even started the business. I wasn't, I hadn't hit a position. Um, I don't even know if anybody enrolled in my business yet, but I was already, as you could tell in the picture, I was already taking it serious. All right. This is, I was taking it serious straight out the gate and I already envisioned myself actually being a chairman. I had already envisioned it. I didn't really waste any time. It didn't take me to, to get to platinum 150. It didn't take me to get to, Platinum 600, as soon as I heard the information and I, I saw results for myself, I took it serious straight out the gate. And it's my energy, right? My energy has been the same since that day up until now. My The level of seriousness hasn't changed. The level of belief hasn't changed. It's, it's, it's straight. It, it didn't take much, right? And, you know, a lot of people that come into this business, it takes a lot. I don't know why, but it takes a lot for you to, to, to really believe and really be confident in what you do. But for me, this is this is one to two weeks in. It's one to two weeks in, and the energy has always been the same. And you have to do that not only for yourself, but for the people that are following you too. So, to get more, to even just get big, you know, more back on track. People burn themselves out. People burn themselves out, and you can you don't want to burn yourself out. So focused on the end goal. So focused on chairman. You don't want to burn yourself out, right? And when I say that, when you're so focused on that, you start looking at things like your bank account, right? And you'll realize, okay, my bank account isn't there, right? You'll start, you'll start looking at things like the amount of people that's not in the room at your event, right? You'll start focusing on things like that, right? The amount of empty chairs that sit at your event, right? You'll, you'll start realizing, okay, there's so many different empty chairs at this event. I'm obviously not there yet, All right? Or you'll start, you'll start focusing on, um, I don't know, things you can't afford, right? You'll start focusing on things you can't afford and, and at a restaurant or in the in the store, or in the mall, things of that nature, All right? You'll realize, okay, I'm not there yet. You'll just keep reminding yourself that you're not there yet because you're so focused on that on on actually being there. You're so focused on chairman. Or right, you'll look at your back office and it may not, you'll, you'll realize, okay, it's not the color I want it to be. It doesn't say chairman. I'm not, I, there you go again, reminding yourself that you're not there yet. All right. So when you, this, like I said, backtracking, backtracking, backtracking things that I've done, things that I've realized, you have to channel your focus, right? You're going to, you're going to visualize, right? You're going to visualize, you're going to manifest yourself being there. All right, but you're going to put your focus more on the steps it takes to get there. So many people focus on the overall goal so much that they miss the steps that it takes to get there. So many people focus on the top of the mountain that they trip over that rock that's right in front of them because they just, they were so focused on the top of the mountain. All right? So, you're, don't be so focused on chairman that you forget and you miss everything that comes in between. You want to put more focus on the steps, right? On the events, on the webinars, on the team meetings, on learning the skill. You want to put step on, on using the product. You want to put steps. You want to put focus on the steps it takes to get there. And then you'll realize, you'll look up, You'll back up and you'll eventually you'll already be there. A lot 
faster than you expected. You that's how you you literally then I got there a whole lot faster. It'll 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 almost seem like it happened overnight. Be like, man, that came quick because you were so focused on the steps. You weren't worried about the end goal. You were already in your mind. You were already there. So right now, I'm only focusing on this event that I got next week. Right? My focus is on this event. My focus is not on the fact that I'm not a chairman yet because I'm already a chairman in my mind. I'm just putting all my focus on this event that I have this week. Right? So I'm going to make sure that the promo is 10 times what it needs to be, right? I'm going to make sure that I have everybody posting and marketing on their on their Instagram pages, on their social medias, so we can put as many people, we can fill as many chairs as we possibly can in that event. When you focus on things like that, when you focus, in, when you focus on making sure that you put on a good event, naturally, you'll get to your goals a whole lot faster because you understand events that's something that you need to do a lot of. That's something that you need to get good at in order to be a chairman, right? Or in order to be a chairman 25, in order to be a chairman 50, right? I'm putting a lot of focus on making sure that I learn how to articulate this information. That's one of the steps it takes to get there. You're so focused on the fact that you can't articulate the information that you're not a chairman. Actually, folk, actually, being able to articulate the information, you'll stumble and fall because you're so focused on the fact that you can't do it and you're not there yet. You want to have success in the steps. Stop looking for ultimate success and start, start focusing on the details. Start focusing on, okay, I know that if I can host a successful event and, and bring hundreds of people out, then I must be getting closer or at least there. If you if you understand, if you realize as you grow in the business, more people start coming to your events. Your events start getting bigger. More people start coming out. The more you grow. Like literally, try hosting an event in the same place, in the same city. Reoccurring, reoccurring, reoccurring. And as you grow, as that as the amount of people in, that, in those rooms, as those events continue to get more and more successful, you'll understand that your color in your back office keeps changing. Your group volume continues to increase. But if you're so focused on your group volume, you, if you're so focused on the fact that you're not a chairman, like you leave, you leave little to no focus on the steps that it takes to get there. Right? People, you know, you, you, you want to be a chairman, but you haven't even you haven't even, you know, actually closed out a webinar before. You haven't hosted a basic training. You haven't you haven't done the little things that it takes to get there. So how can you expect to already be there? If you put if you put a lot of focus on on working hard, if you put a lot of focus on being consistent, if you put a lot of focus on the actual details of, of you know actually getting to where you want to go, it it's almost as if you forget that you're not there, and that's what you you want to forget. Like you want to forget that you're not even there. I don't know if it, for all of the all of the people that were in Dallas, they showed a movie clip. Uh, the guy carrying somebody on his back, he was on a football field, he was crawling, all right, crawling, like 50-plus uh, yards of just crawling with somebody on his back. Think about that, crawling with somebody on your back, 50-plus yards, all right? And he literally crawled with this person on his back, a full-grown man on his back all, all the way to the finish line, 50-plus yards. Like, think about that. But what people don't realize, he was blindfolded. He was blindfolded. Like he couldn't see, he couldn't see where he was. He was just envisioning it. He was, he was envisioning it. So you have to, don't blind yourself. Don't blind yourself, literally. But it's almost as if you're blinding yourself working hard. Like you're, 
you're, you're so focused on on events, webinars. Uh, you make sure you're talking to this person, that person, meetings, that you're blinding yourself of chairman. You're blinding yourself of the fact that you're not there yet. So all you can really do is envision already being there. So to sum all of that up, to sum all, to sum all of that up, stop focusing on the top of the mountain, right? Stop focusing on the end of the road, goals. Start focusing on the steps, the experiences, the events, the people, the meetings, the little details that it takes to get there. And naturally, you'll look up, and you'll already be there. You'll already be there. All right? It's like, it's like painting a picture or drawing a picture. You'll be focusing on the nose, like real focusing, locked in on making sure the nose is real detailed. All right? Each detail. And then you'll look up, and you just drew and painted a, a beautiful portrait. All right? You'll look up, and it's like, wow, that's crazy. I, I really did it. Boom. Uh, lastly, uh, lastly, and this is this is less mindset, more physical. Um, but you know, this is the last quarter of the year. This is the last quarter of the year. Uh, we're, we're two weeks out of Dallas. Uh, the promotion is over, and you know, the promotion ran two weeks. You know, a lot of people were motivated. A lot of people were enrolling in the business. And I guess it kind of slowed down. I don't know why, right? <laughs> but, uh, you know, it slowed down. And I think it's just for the simple fact that, you know, that level that level of excitement is not there. You know, and David and Manitia said it best. He said, he said, you know, that level of excitement, it should, it should be the same, you know, whether the, the, the cost is lower or not. Right. So many, you know, so many people were, were thinking like, OK, a lot of people are coming to the business because the price is not as much. Right. And the funny thing is. Uh, people don't realize you were doing you probably doing a lot more meetings. You were more excited to talk to more people. Right. You were putting putting what we're doing, putting this exactly our whole vision and everything that we're doing in front of people a whole lot more. And you just weren't realize. You thought it was just it was because of the promotion. Moving forward, uh, moving forward, I think we need to match that same energy, regardless of a promotion or not. The amount of people we were exposing, what we were doing, amount, how hard we were working, how excited we were. Let's go ahead and just keep that same energy, especially because it's the last quarter of the year. We're about to go into twenty twenty. It's the last quarter of the year, and, and the one thing that I do, I do, I, I think everybody should focus on in this last quarter because it's, you know the year's almost over. Is events as many events as possible? Showing the plan. Shout out to Justin Owens. Showing the plan, exposing people to what you're doing, exposing people to you. All right, exposing people to you. This last quarter of the year, events, I say at least one to two a week, at the very least, at least one to two a week. All right, we got about 12 weeks left. That's 24, 24 events. By right, 24 um, times, you get to, you actually get to show other people exactly what you do. Show other people your brand. Last quarter of the year. 24 events. And people, you know, and also realize the event happens after the event. You'll, you'll, you'll come to understand that when you do an event, a lot of people won't enroll right on spot. A lot of people won't come into your business immediately. It, you know, it won't happen. But if you go back to that same place and you do that event again, you'll realize that the room is more full. There's more people. The second time you go back, because so the event happens after the event. And it's not all is it's not always about it's not always about exposing people to what, what you're doing, but also just being around being around people, actually being around people that are in your organization. That's a that's a, that's literally 
an excuse. Well, not, not necessarily an excuse, but that's a reason to go be around people at least one to twice a week. You, you're, you guys are putting yourself around each other once or twice a week. Events are not always about exposing people to the, to the information. It's, it's mostly, mostly, a large percent is why we need to actually get together. Feel each other's energy. When you're around people, especially when you get to certain, certain, certain places, you'll realize you don't even have to say anything. You don't even have to say anything. You guys, y'all don't even have to say anything to each other. Y'all just have to feel each other's energy and realize that we're doing this together. You're where you are. I'm where I'm at. But you being where you are, you're making me feel like it's more possible. You're making it, you're making it feel like it's more possible. So I challenge everybody for the last, uh, this last quarter of the year, this last quarter of the year, one to two events, one to two events a week, 12 to 24 events before the year is over. Um, put yourself around, put yourself around people that want to, you know, actually want to excel, that actually want to be successful. Um, it's even better specifically in this, specifically in this. Yes. You can go be around people that want to be successful in general, but people that want to be successful in this, that's even better. I just, I, I posted it on my, on my Instagram uh, yesterday. I was, I was saying how I, I submerged myself for the last two years. I literally submerged myself in this. And the way that you submerge, it, it starts by the, the people that you hang around. Right. That's the that's the first way to kind of throw yourself all in. Right. To fully submerge yourself in something. You have to start by placing yourself around people that are thinking the same way that you are, that are on the same frequency that you are, that want something just as bad as you do. They're not only helping you, you're, you're helping them. And y'all are, are going to continue to grow. So look, I appreciate everybody for listening to me. Um, we still have just about 5,000 deep. Go ahead and drop some 777s in the chat if you understood everything. Uh, you took notes. If you're looking forward to the next, this last quarter of the year, I'm excited for everybody. I'm excited for everybody. Drop London in the chat if you're going to be in London. Yeah, I think this thing is glitching. There's so many people coming. <laughs> All right, cool. I appreciate everybody. Look, guys, overview. Backtrack your success, not for yourself but for the people following you so they can get to where you are a whole lot faster. Know why, you, know why you're in the position that you are. Secondly, all right, secondly, don't focus on the goal so much. Visualize being there. Visualize that you're already there. Put a lot of focus on the steps it takes to get there, right? You put so much focus on that, you forget all the details of in between of how to get there. And that's the most important part. Third, events. Expose, 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 expose this last quarter of the year. Be known. Be excited to be known. Be excited for people to know what you're doing. That energy will spread. And it will happen in the way that you want it to. One to two times a week, at least 24 times before the year is over. It could be home events. It could be hotel events. It could be even you just inviting everybody to a big event because, uh, you know, a chairman is hosting a big event, right? One to twice, I say either really two to three at least. 
a week before the year is over. All right, I appreciate everybody for tuning in. I'm going to go ahead and end the, end the meeting off now. Thank you.